Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something exciting. It's another beauty swap between me and CJ from C's Beauty Blog. As you guys know, a few times a year, we like to send each other some of our favorite products that are themed boxes. We like to open them and share them with you guys. So this is the first one of 2018. We're a little late with it. We've been super busy. CJ has been traveling for work. I've been super busy here. So we finally got around to sending each other the packages and we're really excited. So this box is a TJ Maxx Marshalls themed box. CJ does a lot of hauls on his video, um, on his channel, where he talks about all of the amazing products he finds from TJ Maxx. So we thought it would be fun to shop at TJ Maxx for each other. Now, normally our box's budget is around 100 to $150, with the Christmas one being a lot more than that. We decided to keep this at under $50 and just see what we could get. So, I'm gonna open what CJ got for me and also below I'm going to link the video where you see what I got CJ if you're so inclined. Anyways, as always, if you're unfamiliar with CJ's channel, he's one of my favorite channels. I consider him my YouTube bestie and he has a fantastic channel when it comes down to um, skincare. So if you guys like skincare videos, if you want really informative, entertaining videos, he has one of the best channels out there. And I'm not just saying that because he's my friend. His channel is pretty freaking spectacular. So anyway, let's get into the box. Now I'm filming this really late at night. I just got this today. And I'm actually kind of pissed off at the UPS office. They left this outside on top of my garbage can in the middle of the rain. So my husband like brought in this like waterlogged box and he's like, is this for you? And I was like, oh no. But it looks like everything inside is nice and safe. So I'm opening it tonight because I'm impatient. So this is what it looks like. Um, sometimes we individually wrap things, sometimes we don't. So let's see. It looks like CJ has individually wrapped everything, so I'm going to get into it. This first thing he sent me says, this is surprisingly good. This feels like it might be a face mask. There's a lot of really awesome sheet masks that you can find at TJ Maxx, so I'm excited to see what he got me. And it is, dun, da, 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 dun, da, da. Ooh, it is the, here we go, it is the Bashia Green Tea Mattifying Hydrogel Mask. Now he left the prices on his, I think I took the prices off mine, but um, this is originally $7 and he got it for $4, so this is one of the things he got me. I think in every box CJ and I send each other ridiculous amounts of face masks. So next up is this guy. I'm also kind of interested to see if we sent each other the same stuff. I also wanted to see if that was possible. So this is Love This Brand and This Line. So I don't know what this is, so let us see. And it is, oh, I think this is, let's see, raw. Ah, yes, he loves this line. So this is the Andalou Natural Get Started 3, Get Started Clear Skin 5 Skin Essentials. It looks like he got this on sale too, which is awesome, for $5. I can't see exactly how much it was originally, but it says it's a $30 value. I love, I hope he spent less than $15. I'm interested to see the products that he got me. So this is really awesome. He loves this line. He sent me for Christmas. He sent me a lot of products from this line that I have been using and loving, but I don't think I have any of these. So this is exciting to try. This is what he sent me right here. Next up is this guy right here. It feels like it might be like a, like a moisture mist. I know that Marshalls has a lot of moisture mists. I always see this at Sephora. All right, let's see what this is. That would be my kitties. This is, 
Ooh, awesome. Yeah, I wanted to try this. They don't have these at my TJ Maxx. This is the Too Cool for School Egg Mousse Soap Facial Cleanser. So this is originally $12, but he paid $8 for it. And this entire line is really, really good. So really excited to try this out. So yeah, so let's see what the package looks like. Why not? Oh, it's cute. It kind of looks like a spray cheese. I don't know why I think that's cute, but it is. So this is great. I'm running low on some cleanser, so this would be fantastic to add to my collection. I have a very extensive skincare cabinet of all the stuff that I don't, I'm not using yet. If you guys would like to see like a little tour of my skincare. I haven't posted a skincare video in over a year. I have changed it up drastically because I change it up whatever my skin needs. So if you guys want more skincare videos, let me know. So next up is this right here. And this is, he says, I got this for both of us. Now we each, I think we each got each other a product that we also bought for ourselves. So I got him something that I saw hyped all over YouTube, all over Instagram, everywhere. And I was skeptical of the product. I was very skeptical. I'm like, that's expensive for what it is. But at a TJ Maxx price, I was like, this would be hilarious if I get it for him and I get it for me and we end up liking it. We could both hate it. I don't know. It could make a mess in his box. We'll find out. But I think this is the one. I think he mentioned that he did the same thing for me. He got something for him and for he bought something for himself that he also bought for me. So let's see what this is. Ooh. So this is the Shea Moisture Renewal Peel Pads. So this is supposed to be for uneven texture and five lines. So this is exfoliation pads. I'm really excited. I just ran out of the exfoliation products I was using. So I've needed to pick something else up. So this is perfect for me to try. And this initially is $10 and he paid $7 for it. So really super duper excited to try this. I really enjoy this line a lot. Two more products, this and this. I kind of, I don't know. I don't think I got this thing for him. I love Algenis and this look great. Okay, so this is not the same thing I got him. I'm kind of sad we didn't get each other the same thing. I was kind of hoping we would. Um, Algenis is a great brand too, but bland brand too, by the way. So this is the um, Optical Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, so it's supposed to be, I'm guessing, a moist, obviously a moisturizer. Um, so it's the Luminous Moisturizer captures and diffuses light to provide an immediate soft focus Strubbing effect on the skin. Skin perfecting pigments blur imperfections while a diamond peptide blend helps delay the visible signs of aging and minimizing the appearance of skin damage from free radicals. Use underneath makeup for an overall smooth radiant glow or apply over makeup on targeted areas for a highlighted finish. So this might be kind of like a highlighter moisturizer. So I would probably use this in conjunction with the moisturizers I use in the daytime. I kind of want to see what the consistency looks like. So let's take a look now, shall we? And dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's what it looks like. Let's put a little bit on my finger, shall we? I always like doing these because I usually get products I never in my life would have out of buying not that I would be like against buying them it's just you get so overwhelmed with all the skincare products and all the beauty products so this is what it looks like it has a very fresh scent and it looks like it has a little bit of um not like a white cast and it's not a duochrome but it's got like a light pink illuminating cast to it it kind of reminds me hold on let me grab it this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer. And CJ got me this too. Got me this a while ago. I just have so many primers. Let's see. So as I use a way more of it than I should on the back of my hand. Um, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I put way too much on. But um, as I put it all, I have to take a shower tonight. So please don't be grossed out. I mean, you can be grossed out by this. So this is the hourglass one and this is this one. Can you guys see? 
it kind of looks the same. This one is actually a little bit more sheer and it feels more moisturizing. This one is kind of dry. I do like using this one a lot, but because I have textured skin and fine lines and all things like that, I usually only like to use primers like that on days where I'm only gonna be wearing the primer for a few, or the makeup for a few hours. If it's a day I'm gonna be make, wearing makeup all day, I like to use more of the primers that makes my skin look more blurred and fills in my pores and things like that. But this is kind of really nice. Can you see? Probably not. Probably can't. But yeah, really excited to try this. So this was initially $30 and he paid $20 for it. So I think out of all of these products, I think this is the one I'm most excited to try so far. But we have one more. I can grab it. Yes, here we go. Last one. And this is another one for you to test out. I don't know what this is, but it would be hilarious if this was another uh, SPF. Because CJ and I have obsessions with SPF. He just did an SPF video where he talked about every single SPF in his collection. I feel like I should do that too. But yeah. So let's see. Is this... Why do I think this is Bashia? Yeah, this is Bashia. This is sake cleansing water. Oh good, I need cleansing waters. So this is the Bashia Sake Cleansing Water No Rinse, no rinse Makeup Remover and Cleanser. No rinse. A soap-free, no rinse cleansing water that gently removes makeup, dirt, and impurities with ease. Gently lifts dirt, oil, and makeup from the face and eyes as it hydrates, brightens, and softens skin. It's supposed to be infused with sake and rice powder to instantly hydrate and brighten with glycolic acid to help helps to clarify and smooth the skin's uh, texture. I can't read out loud. You guys know that I'm very sorry. Um, gentle enough, gentle enough, there we go. Gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin types and the delicate eye area, it thoroughly cleans without leaving any residue. Really excited to try this out. I've needed more cleansing waters. Let's see what the packaging looks like. Oh, it's milky. So yeah, that's it right there. Really super duper excited to try this out. I really like the Boschia line actually. There's a few things I've used from them that I really enjoy, some things I don't like, but I think this will be really fun to try. So the initial price of this was $15 and he paid $9.90. So that's it and that's my haul from CJ. I'm really excited to try everything. I hope he likes what I chose him. I was very particular, I think his TJ Maxx are more are better stocked than mine. So I am kind of hoping that he likes what I sent him or at least gets a chuckle of what I sent him. Again, if you'd like to see what I sent CJ, the link will be below. If the link isn't there, just go to C's beauty blog and it should be his next video that's up at the time that this video goes out, April 23rd. He posts re pretty regularly, so if it's a week or two after, there'll probably other videos up. So then you can definitely check out the link below where I say check out this video. But if it's not there, this video's up pretty quickly, which means his will probably be up a few hours after mine. So you can go right to his channel if you don't see it up yet. The reason for that being actually is because he lives in Oregon and I live in South Florida. So we live like on complete opposite ends of the United States, which is also another reason why we really like doing these exchanges. We get to try products that we normally wouldn't try. Um, we get to try things that probably aren't available in our area or aren't necessities because we kind of fall into the category of staying true and loyal to specific brands and specific products. So it's really nice to be able to try something different and having him live so far away, it's kind of interesting to see what he chooses to send me and what he chooses to like based on his skin type and the environment that he lives in and so on. But that being said, I'm really super duper hyped about all of these products. I thought this was a really fun and cute idea for us to do a TJ Maxx haul because we both really like shopping at TJ Maxx. And I thought that this would be really great because he does like to share a lot of the products he got on TJ Maxx. So if you like haul videos like that, definitely check out his channel.
Again, I'm going to have his information listed below if you guys like skincare videos. Definitely check out his channel. It's amazing. Subscribe and support him. He is well worth checking out and uh, supporting his channel. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like this video. If you like collabs like this, specifically with me and CJ, or if you want to see more skincare and beauty reviews and videos on my channel, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.